You are about to listen to Evangelist Isaac Omelin, the General Superintendent of World Commission International and the World Assembly Churches. Happy listening. Oh, I pekanti, o ke pete lewa, so lo tito, lo tito, lo tito si Christ, o ke ba orina, gege boti dunto, to lo tito, lo tito, a lo tito si Christ. Lo si shegon, lo si shegon, Ling a seba lo gunwa A u lo li a sere Lai pe a u gwa le no Pe lo tito Lo tito a lo tito si krist E nyi a ki e gbo I ro to mi a ye So lo tito, lo tito, lo tito si Christ. E di de e si se, ke de o tito na. To lo tito, lo tito, a lo tito si Christ. Lo si segun, lo si segun, le a jeba lo gunwa. Aw lo li a sere, lai kwe aw gwa le no, kwe lo tito, lo tito, a lo tito si Christ. Wada kwa me kwe wa, aw le o mi ran lo, so lo tito, lo tito, lo tito si Christ. Aw fon i kwe o gong, so ri o gong we su, To lo tito, lo tito, a lo tito si Christ. Lo si shagun, lo si shagun, le a seba lo gunwa. Aw lo li a sere, lai pe aw gwa le no. Pe lo tito, lo tito, a lo tito si Christ. This is the word of God coming to you on morning prayer. We pray in the name of Jesus that our behavior and conduct and relationship with people will be moderated by the word of God. In order that we will have peace of mind And in order that what happens between us and others will give both of us relative peace. I'm reading from Genesis chapter 37 verse 23 and verse 34. I'm teaching more on Joseph and what a man so. And I spoke yesterday about the recompense that took place between Jacob and his sons in reflection of what Jacob did to Isaac. That's what his children are doing to him. Recently, I had an event in the village. And the Anglican priest that preached is long time ago I was brought into soberness by a message from that class. Because we were doing burial. And he said something that is going to be with me for quite a while. He said, he said a man uh, was retired from the military. And he wanted his son to join the military. So the son went for an interview 
with a panel. And when the son came back from the interview, the father asked him, how did the interview go? And he said it was fine that, uh, in fact, the people who are on the panel, uh, they ask him questions and he answered. And he asked him, who are those on the panel? The son now began to mention the names of members of the panel. And then he mentioned the particular name. The father then caught in and said, Oh, was he also among them? And he said yes. Ah, Baba was often pay what the result pay one name one. Right there, the father interjected and said, "Oh, the result have been declared already. You will not be selected." Ah, hold on, that will question your dad. He said, "But I answered all the questions very well." Only yeah, call one name one. One or two saw result, but result in most of one yeah. They are yet to declare the result, but I've told you what the result is already. Only to read, but don't want the army alone. She can't. He said yeah. because when he was in the army, he did them wickedly. Now, Edakeje. Now, the rivers in the seventies also applies near the nineteen seventy one. I happen to have a father-in-law that was very popular. Unfortunately, he didn't live long. He went on an Anglican mission. And he died in the accident. I was not lucky enough to meet him before he died. In the year that he died was the year I proposed to his daughter to marry her. And a few years later, the daughter went for an interview for scholarship. And the people who are on the panel ask her, are you the daughter of Mr. Sosu Sosu? He said, yes, that's his father. Then they asked her to get up and go. That she has scholarship already. And that was it. If the man was wicked, like the man who said in the to his son in the military that, look, even though you answered the question well, they will not take you. Me ti oga jagun fenti to so far more like we both let down we bury him that that one ni mo. They will not take you. One ni mo. One of my children went to do interview. I can't lie. I'm not me not love him for a one ni lenu at the British Embassy. Ni Embassy, I want him both to love. And the first person she presented her papers to. Then they asked her, is there, yes. Do you know one Omole in the Lorraine? Oh, I bet Omole in the Lorraine. He said, Yes, that's my father. Oh, I don't be Benny, Baba, Mini. Then he said, Follow me. Oh, I know that. Tell me. And took my daughter to the white man. He said, this one does not need question and answer. Whatever she wants, give it to her. My daughter left the place in a few minutes. And branched to the man to thank him. He said, sir, what do I tell my father when I get home? What's your name, sir? The man said, your father doesn't know me. If you tell him my name, he will not know who it is. Greet him when you get home. What a man sows, he will reap. If you don't repeat, your children will. Do well, do good to all men. Use your position to honor and elevate other people. 
If there is any under you, if you lift him up, he will never forget you his lifetime. But if you suppress him downward further, he still will never forget you. If you should change him on his right and you give it to another, he also will not forget. And if he's promoted through you and become elevated through you, he also will not forget. Today I'm talking about Owenigme. Genesis 37, 23, 34. Genesis 37, 23, 34. Genesis 37, 23, 34. Now verse 34. Jacob si fa asho re ya. O si fi asho fo si ara re. Isho fo omo re ni ojo kupo. Now these sons created a stripping of clothes from Joseph and their father. A omo wa iti fi fi fa asho ya la re ni lo le. Latara Josephu ati baba won. So 13 years after that, odun meta la leyin na in Genesis 44 verse 13. Ninu we Genesis ori kanin le ni ogoji ezeketala. On the same road that Joseph was naked carrying load on his way to Egypt. Ni oju ona kan na ti a ti tu Josephu si o bi o tin ru eru lo si Egypt as a slave. Gege bi eru Ningba na ni won fa aso won ya awon na the same brothers won fa aso won ya ngba ton ri eru exhibit ninu ninu ti o je kan gbe olukuluku si di eru le ketekete re yes won si pada lo si ilu now joseph trekked on that road 13 years earlier e wo bayi ni oju ona yi gangan ni joseph ti fe se ni ni nkan bi odun meta la seyin joseph had at the age of 17, carried load on his head. So he was 30 now. So 13 years after that, these brothers were on the same road, carrying load on their head, naked, going to Egypt, this time as thieves. Joseph, ni omo dumeta di ni ogun, lo juo na iti rueru, lo ri re, ni ba ti, on rueru, lo ri kege bie rusi egibiti. Ni ba yo ti pe omo gbondun e to tun mo si pe odun meta la leyin na awon arakunrin re won ayi ni won ti won ti wa ri kan ajeje ninu eru won won ti wa mu won lo le awon na wa bo aso ara won ni ojo ona yi kan na Joseph headed to Egypt as a slave they headed to Egypt as thieves Joseph fori le Egypt gege bi eru awon fori le Egypt gege bi ole The Bible speaks of tit for tat tut for tut it is even worse if you are going as a slave or you are going as thieves. The Bible says that there was a centurion that was so careful and concerned about his slave. But who cares about a thief? The Bible says. If hands are joined with hand, sinner will not go unpunished. That's why we preach holiness, righteousness, truth, and honesty. And it's the foundation for all relationships. I pray in the name of Jesus that we will deal fairly with all men. Knowing fully well. And what we do to others will come back to us. If it doesn't come back to you in your lifetime, it will come back to your children. Until tomorrow when I bring you God's word again. God bless you. Amen. Glory be to God. The word of God you have just heard was brought to you by the man of God, Evangelist Isaac Komale the General Superintendent of World Commission International and the World Assembly Churches. I believe you have been greatly blessed by the message. For inquiries, prayer, and counseling, call 90 Again, 90 Or visit the World Assembly headquarters 
Plot 95, Ajashaiko Road of our garage area, Elorin, Kora State, Nigeria. By the grace of God, let us meet again tomorrow, same time on this station. God bless you.